All right, so I bought this as is uh, in a lot online. Um, so this is the Japanese Super Famicom. We'd call it a Super Nintendo in America. So it came with an interesting AC adapter. I'm pretty sure this is the one that came with the copier. So this adapter, I know this is like the biggest fire hazard of all time. Here's the plug coming from the adapter. Here's the converter, and I've got two plugs that come out of this power converter. One of them is specifically for the copier. It's really a game copier. Uh, this is a floppy disk, and it came with the game copier, and I'm pretty sure this is like software. It says the word final, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's the software, so I'm not using this floppy at all. Um, so when it was advertised, it came on as the screen was all distorted on the cell listing. Um, and since this is a PAL con, well, it's Japan, so it's NTSC, but they, the cartridges are shaped differently. So I had to disassemble an old cartridge and throw it in there to turn on because I don't have any other games to test. Because the most important thing, I bought this basically for the copier because I'd like to collect, I'd like to start collecting these unconventional items. So if I start the, the I'm not even going to, well, when I started this, before the TV was on, the floppy drive started making odd noises. So I am not sure if the floppy drive works at all. So I have not tested it on my TV yet. And we're going to do it right now. <laughs> all right. So next thing we're... Oh, it went away. And it went away. It's about to go away again. It went away after like five seconds. I'm going to press reset as it's on. How about that? Holding. Letting go. I already let go. Wow, okay. Um, Alright, so let's try shutting it off. Set this fucking camera off. Okay, it's off. I'm going to take my copier off. This thing's in immaculate condition. I want to be careful. So it has this little attachment that goes underneath the copier. So there's two things I'm trying to. I'm trying to determine if the copier's jacked up or if this is jacked up. Both of them could be jacked up, but I want to determine if it's both you know, one or the other. So I'm going to place this in here to see if it's an audio video problem. God, this is so painful. Because if I know it's this, I'm just going to start troubleshooting this. Oh yeah, so this is disconnected. I'm using the same transformer, so or power converter bullshit, whatever this is, this adapter. So I don't know if I gotta go grab a Genesis adapter. Cause I think you can use a Genesis adapter on these, the same polarity. Alright, let's see. Nope, won't work. All right, um, hold on. All right, so now he's a Genesis Model 1 adapter. Um, I'm pretty sure this isn't, this is either faulty or it's totally only supposed to be used with the copier. But once again, I'm trying to determine if the copier is jacked up or if it's this thing. I'm, I'm kind of suspecting it's the console. So I'm using a Genesis 1 adapter on this one. Uh, so this is supposed to run 110 volts in Japan, but it's 120. It shouldn't hurt it. Uh, Read online right after I bought this. This should be okay to use. It's got a really faint red light. What the fuck? This is a bad adapter. I've got a bundle of these adapters.
I bought like a lot and I got like three or four adapters at once. I might need that 110 if it's not working. Hmm. Let me try testing this power this power adapter first. I'll just I'll, I'll just eliminate the power adapter. I've checked three Genesis ones and it's not getting enough power, so I'm going to assume this is the correct one. So on your multimeter, you want to select direct current. So that would be if you don't know. Here we go. It would be this straight line. If you get the squiggly, or squiggly line, squiggly line right here where I'm pointing, that's alternating. You want direct, so put it on 20. So it's got two of these. So I'm going to test one lead in the mid, one lead inside, one lead outside. Eight point one six. Eight point two four. And it's supposed to be rated ten. I don't think that should make that much of a difference. Right, let me hook it all back up the correct way. I may have to consult it. All right, so doing some testing, um, I'm gonna need to use this because I don't have the native power supply, so I just have it connected to the copier, and that's the game inside of there alone, and this is what I'm getting. So I 100, it is 150% an audio video problem on this. So now I'm gonna have to potentially open it up and troubleshoot. Uh, so it turns out the power supply that came with this is designated for like the UK shit, like checking the voltages. I asked the damn Discord, the SNES Central Discord, and those dudes know fucking everything about the Super Nintendo to include the Fami Super Famicom and all that bullshit. Uh, they're the ones that told me that you may use an American NES adapter or a Genesis Model 1 adapter. And if you look, I still have all my Sega Genesis's and a ton of adapters. And I used it on here because I disassembled it. I'm like, what in the hell's going on? Yep, so um, we are going to, I'm gonna reassemble this, throw it back in operation because I have too many Genesis adapters. I'm going to hook up that copier, Chinese call it copier, I'm going to hook up the copier and uh, see what comes up. Alright, so as I said, I added more stuff to my potential fire hazard. So I've got, luckily, a bunch of extra Genesis uh, chargers and stuff. Uh, I really, apparently I shouldn't use them long term on this, it will damage the system. So this is more of a temporary fix just to ensure everything is working correctly. Uh, especially for this uh, crazy, crazy thing that I got. So, here we go. Alright, that's interesting. So it's booting right to the game. And it's not going off the copier. So, we're going to put the floppy in. I don't know if that means it's working or not. Alright, 
cool. All right, maybe this my controller's not working. I mean, I'm using an American untested one. Uh, let me get the one that came in the box. What the fuck? Why did it go to home? It just went to home alone all by itself. Reset. What? Right, let's try again. It's going to Home Alone for some reason. Here we go. Game copy. Hmm. I mean, I went to the BIOS and boot screen. Maybe I need to go look up how this thing works, just to ensure it's working correctly, because, like I said, that the hard drive, the floppy drive, is making a ton of noise. Oh, I'll get back. Alright, so actually it's working completely fine. I'm actually not, uh... This is just an interesting video. I've never used a Game Doctor before, so... I'm going to show you how I got to this screen. I didn't put the floppy in there, but let's say I'm going to shut it off. You need to hold the right button down. Turn it on one fucking hand because... And... Oh, God damn it. Let's try it again. There we go. So you see, play game. Play disc or utility menu. So play game is self-explained. Plays off what's on the cartridge. Disc is what. So you guys see that it can do floppies, right? Um, I think that software that's on. So I don't want to erase what's on here. This is what came with it. I'm like really sure that is software. Um, I've got people that are Chinese that are my friends that I could ask what this says, but I'm pr well, this even this this is really atrocious. But uh, this is what came with it to make the whirring noise stop. Uh, you just take the floppy out, otherwise it's loud as fuck with the floppy in. So here's our little menu, right? Um, we bounce around, utility. No, run card, it's pretty, you know, run card, backup card. I, I don't know what those fucking mean. Format, okay, format disk, that's for the floppy though. That I know that's for the floppy. Delete file, that's what's deleting on the floppy. Copy file, copy file. Uh, self tie. this is probably what I'm most, what's set system, what the hell does that say? Oh, this is like... Oh god, what did I just do? <laughs> Is this like changing the language? Yeah. If I select Chinese, I'm probably gonna get angry. Self-test. Dude, it has a self-test. Insert blank disk, please. Alright, so it looks like this bad boy works. Uh, except the screen is frozen. Oh, no. Press select. Got out of it. What's run card? Oh, run the game card, the cartridge. All right, so uh, looks like this whole thing where it's funny because this was sold. This was sold on eBay for a hundred bucks. The whole system in the box and usually these copiers cost way more so maybe i'll do a video uh exploring this super in depth if you guys are really curious about these floppy copiers um next thing i'm going to look for is probably a wild card copier copiers are all different but a lot of them use the same software it says others upgraded dr sf but there's dr sf version threes as you saw the software, 
Like, what, what was the software in here again? I can't remember. Doctor SF or Game Doctor SF3 version 3.3 Chara C. It's probably the last version, obviously. Uh, so yeah, um, we'll ex I'll explore that more in other videos. Uh, but I'm just glad to know that this thing works. I also want to know if the attachment on the bottom, if I can get a different type of attachment to convert from Famicom to, you know, Super Famicom to the North American kind. Uh, really curious about that. I'll, I'll explore uh, what's available there. Because the, as of right now, this Game Doctor only works on this. And the reason being... The reason being is that the cartridge pin, the cartridge pin attachment, let me pull it off, I'll pull it off. I'm just going to put this up for a while. This was like a Home Alone 2 PCB because I don't, as I said earlier, I don't have any PAL cart. Even, even a PAL or even an NTSC cart cannot fit here, which actually it almost doesn't even matter if I get the converter, but I'll pull it off. This is the converter. Well, it's more of an extender, but I know they make, you know, super Famicom to Famicom pin connectors. All the, you can go buy those. But as I just realized, there's almost no point because I'd have to get two of them. Actually, this one, this one, this doesn't even. Even if I got like a second one, it'd have to fit down here. Well, yeah. So, like, I guess in conclusion, this is a suit, literal Super Famicom copier. So now I gotta go hunt for an NTSC copier. Regardless, I'm happy to have this in my collection. This was, this was truly a steal because. Usually these are a few hundred bucks, and I got it for a hundred, and I got a Super Famicom with it. I guess the guy who's selling it is uh, part of an estate sale or something. Uh, yeah, I've been up late. So, uh, yeah, this is interesting video. Uh, like I said, I'll make a follow-on uh, reviewing the Game Doctor right here. Thanks for watching, guys.